we have seen in rheumatology every 20 to 30 years a major leap. It used to be the first advent of glucocorticoids in the 50s. In the 80s, we started to use DMARDs like methotrexate, had a profound impact of our patients. And then in the 2000s, we started to use monoclonal antibodies. All of these have resulted in dramatically better clinical outcomes for our patients. This, I think, is probably the most exciting leap yet because for the first time, we're not thinking about maintaining and controlling disease transiently, keeping disease at low activity, but for the first time, we're talking about getting people into a durable disease remission, which means the patient looks and feels like the disease is no longer there. We're starting to wor use words like cure, which we previously never dared to even talk about. So I think it's a fundamental change in therapeutics and rheumatology where we have a wealth of different modalities now, all as a whole called immune effector cell therapies, leveraging the patient's own immune system to treat the autoimmune disease. And that's really the fundamental difference to prior drugs. When you leverage the patient's own immune system to treat the disease, you can get durable responses and complete disease remission. I mean, it's the Wild West. We're seeing all kinds of different modalities emerge and being tested in patients at the same time. There are autologous CAR T cells. These are engineered cells made from the patient's own T cells. There are allogeneic CAR T cells made from a healthy donor, but also a cell therapy. There's a whole new future looking modality in vivo CAR T cells that has a lot of hype. Uh, the idea is that you inject a patient with something that creates the CAR T cells in their own blood for short periods of time. We'll have to learn how to use that. And then there's this new class of antibody called bispecific T cell engagers or TCEs that can really be given off the shelf and redirect the patient's own T cells to do the killing. And it's between all these different modalities that are tested side by side that we need to try to figure out A, how to give them best, how to do it very safe for our patients because all of them have potential toxicities. And we need to learn which one is the best for rheumatic disease patients. We don't know that yet.